want to say thank God for life. Thank God it's another opportunity and privilege for us to be here. And for you also to be watching us. If you are just staying tuned to this station, this is Galag the Television. And the program is Family and Values. <laughs> Okay, so waking up this morning can only be by the grace of God, I tell you, because I, I almost was like going back to bed. <laughs> yes, it was all cool, but this morning is another brand new day, and you just have to rise up. You need to come up. Say, come up, Peter. So we need to come up, Peter, because good things are about to happen today, because it's the Tuesday, the seventh day in the month of May 2024 and um, it's going to be full of all beautiful things you can imagine that's when you think positively so how well are you thinking this morning my name is olori adichoki be david my friends call me olori aj how are you how are you doing how is your family and um, i want to say big thank you to everyone standing by to make sure that you can see us from the control room to the eagle men eagle eyes in the studio and to all our bosses, the HOP and the station manager. Thank you so much to our big boss, President Chief Steve Ojo, for this great opportunity. Yesterday we started on a beautiful note and talking about what it actually contains, what you should expect from relationship. Today we're taking it on another dimension. And because I'm not going to be doing that, that's why I say we. <laughs> okay, so when I say we, it simply means I'm not here alone. And I have a darling sister here. She's looking all radiant, all Chelsea looking. We Chelsea fans, let's give a kudos to this beautiful baby here. <laughs> okay, I'll take that. Good morning. Ah uh ah, -uh. oh, oh, oh. Uh -uh. Why are you Because you know that. The so Vuitton is on the brand, ma ma ma. Oh, you know, oh. you know, because I want to say something about your outfit. That's why you came for me first, right? Yeah, yeah. I need to, I need to do that. <laughs> Best <laughs> part, Zach. Yeah, it's good. It's but, good. But you're looking all good. I love, Thank I love you. the Adere Kamara. It's a birthday gift about, about two years ago. Yeah, yeah, I think a year or two ago. I'll do something about it. Yeah, it's going to look lovely. I love the color combination. Thank you, Jerry. Mama G. I didn't call it mama. <laughs> Jay Z mama. Mm -hmm. I don't want to forget that. <laughs> God have mercy on you. Jay Z mama. <laughs> Good morning. Welcome to Family and Values. My name still remains Joy Abu. Yes, well, it's uh, a beautiful Tuesday. Like Lori would say, Tuesday with a difference. Um, today happened to be a very bright day. I think it's going to be a bit sunny today. So even though the night was cool and calm and everywhere the roads are a bit busier maybe the forest scarcity yeah we are getting used to it you know but it's still there you know try and get up early and step out welcome to family and values we are streaming across all our social media platform please download the galaxy mobile app so that you can watch us on the go like i always say please subscribe to our youtube channel turn on your facebook notifications so that you know when these beautiful faces are on your television you know it's time for family and values where we give you all the values you need to know about your family because a good family brings a better society <laughs> okay so a good family brings a society that is full of love joy yes, abundance yes. fullness you yes. always look out for each other's well-being mm. you don't see anyone stabbing you in the back or anyone thinking evil yeah, you don't I see know. someone with your son or your daughter and you feel fr frightened that hey What's i hope they have not with? touched the head of my daughter <laughs> i hope you know, in those you days guess, in yes. those days they will you shot your teacher and anyway, say no nah, don't touch my daughter on the head, on the head don't don't even really cut her really i did not it's send you to cut my daughter's hair you know so you know when the family and the home is at peace mm. everything comes alive everything comes and alive. you don't see any evil mm. see no evil hear no, yeah, evil, no evil and you don't it's fear so it evil. so it, it it all boils down to the family that we all project yes it does it boils down to the family that we all project that's the most important thing like um was like you were telling me downstairs yeah. uh, after losing someone you just find out people are just we just i don't know like uh, it's, it's, it's just uh, <laughs> making demands i i don't understand the, the person that is mourning is the one that is supposed to be on the receiving side but the, the way is it the it's the other way around. It's where people come in and they just feel like, oh, you have to give us this. It's tradition. It's this. And I'm stopped and I'm like, hello. 
you're demanding for a life chicken okay that's so fine according <laughs> to the reality of culture and tradition <laughs> like you know so it, it still boils down to the fact that in this country we still respect culture we still respect tradition we still respect the legacies that were laid down by our forefathers you can't take that away no matter the situation there are certain cultures that um and traditions that you cannot bypass but in that's, in, that's in, what but I yeah have it's true but um when um, Yoruba people will say Ikubono, mm. uh, Ikubono is a, a, a death that is so painful, so right? painful, yeah. so hurting, mm. and you're not making demands. I tell you, the youth there will fight you. Yeah. In short, they will tell you, oh, God, go and sit down first. We're talking about someone that just, someone like you just spoke, who spoke with her, you know, weekend before yeah. she passed out. You know, they're telling you, eh, almost, oh, God, please, <laughs> go and find as you are talking, eh, I'm just wondering how I was discussing with her. And I don't want to hear anybody make it. It's not that we don't have money to give you, but what um, at this time? Uh, and that's the kind of youth we have. That's the they kind see, of youth. They see it as, like it's excuse necessary. me. They, 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 they fight with every distinct strength inside of but, them. But at the same time, you can't fight tradition. Like I said, mm. tradition would always take it because it will always bypass. You can, you can never bypass it. You will do the need for you do the right things because sometimes those things have implications yeah, later on definitely. where you feel like okay it's something i can just you just see something happening to you because these people don't just hold on to this tradition it's like their life so it's something that you you they feel like okay you want to deprive of us this right no problem but you know? um, let me tell but you that's by the way. let me tell you <laughs> Behold, old things are passed away, uh, everything has become okay, new. I'm you. Yes, <laughs> tradition will become tradition. And as much as I love tradition, I don't want to overlook certain things. Mm. I would rather stay on a particular side of, mm. of life and tradition. And my belief, because um, my not doing it doesn't mean it's, it's going to have any side effects on me. That's the way I see it. Anyway, somebody because said, if I'm not eating out of it, I'm not going to be part of it. So somebody said something. Somebody said these days they don't give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. That Caesar should go and look for work everywhere. Is that <laughs> so? Like so anyway, it's time to celebrate those who are celebrating yeah. and also to rejoice. But one thing I will always tell you: learn to love yourself and celebrate others. When you celebrate others, it goes a long way and it makes you feel like you're a queen or you're a king yes yes because you're like ah so joy can even remember me and decided to just celebrate me so a big shout out to um auntie Monikat kelani of um, balatito kelani happy birthday to you as you had another year from your family the igo family from all of your loved ones your children your niece and nephews also to desmond amos uh Happy birthday to you. I wish you the very best as you have another year. Also to Funke Adepileje, happy birthday from Prince Mistral Good News. And also to Assistant Pastor Sam Iroko as you have another year. To all those beautiful people and everyone we're celebrating today, like we always tell you, we love you, we want you to be happy, we want to be share, we want to share part yeah, of your joy, just like you're sharing your part of our day with us every morning when you stay tuned. So please send us if you have anniversaries, birthday wishes to your son, to your daughter. You can always play back and like, well, mommy, so oh yeah. God, so they mentioned my name. No, it was a lot. No, no, it's true. It goes it goes a long way, and they, they feel elated yeah. when they see and they watch back. See, ha, they, some of them will continue to do playback for yeah. the rest of the whole month. <laughs> you know, it goes a long way. So true, let's true. celebrate let's our celebrate loved ones. Exactly. Let's live to say because we don't know. I'm not saying I'm going to cut short your life mm. of God. We don't know. But for that time that we see the likes of Johnson, the likes of Afis, the likes of um, all our people, you know, let's continue to celebrate them. Let's Emmanuel, let me talk. We celebrate you. Eh? Because then we have not been celebrating. Emmanuel, <laughs> we want to celebrate you. We celebrate all of you. Okay? So, today is going to be another wonderful day. Mm. Enjoy. We need to understand ourselves for us to be able to work together. If we don't understand, we'll continue to fight. Yeah, yeah that's true. They'll just be there. You see us sitting here and we'll start throwing you know some banters and i'm sure you understand it by the time we throw this say hey <laughs> we'll be like say joy don't do something to so <laughs> Only enjoy to throw it our own. You say ha, this there's fire on the mountain. We need 
to Mount Terra. Actually, did not sing that song for nothing. <laughs> it doesn't love its car song. So let's go for our mini feature. We've not missed anything. We're just coming up live. I hope you understand and you were able to go through the mini feature as it played on. Okay, so understanding relationship as two-way thing. To you, what is relationship? Is it all relationship that we need to, you know, stick our neck into um, till the end of eternity and that will lead to the altar? Is it all relationship that we start in good, you know, on a good note that ends up that the two, you know, partners involved finally get to the altar to say, I do, and even after they were able to leave 10 five years some go before you know you can even blink your eye one will just decide to leave not because he or she deserves it or not because the other partner is a failure and some just leave finally no turning back as in <laughs> i'm not talking about absence now i'm talking about death when death comes in even in the course of that relationship mm. There will be so much that will have been put in place. Maybe they started from secondary school. And before they can even reach the altar, the other one just leave. Maybe the lady, maybe the guy. And you now see a fallback of that individual mm. before he or she can get back on track to say, I'm yes, going into so another well. relationship. She, he, he or she will be looking back to the first relationship. Ah! This is not what I bargained for. I wish A was here. I wish B could stay and we, you know, got my, even just to get married and have one children and just leave me. You understand? It comes like that, that, like that, like that. So understanding relationship, the two-way thing. How many understand relationship to you? Well, to me, um, relationship is like the topic says understanding relationship as a two-way thing. Um, the truth is most people, or most of us, a lot of us get into relationship with the hope that or with marriage at the back of our mind. And mm. that's where we make the very first mistake. It limits you. Once you have that mentality mm. of this relationship should lead to marriage, automatically you. you're limited because yeah. you start... Um, positioning yourself towards that marriage angle. Hmm. Meanwhile, this particular relationship is supposed to be like a relationship where it will test your, your patience, your tolerance level, your endurance level, like a preparatory into the main relationship where you finally meet that person. Mm -hmm. And that is why some clergymen will say, get used to a normalized breakup in your life. And that's why you see that a lot of people, want that once there is a breakup, they, they find it difficult to attach because everything they had at the back of their mind was marriage or oh, mm. let it lead to marriage let it lead to marriage well finally while we were growing up a lot of us had a lot of crush there were some people in fact there was a relationship that you no know, back then this oath taking thing was very mm. common oh, if you love me you would take, take the hope and, yes and um to an extent kind of mm. i was um how do i put it in that situation where you have always wanted to take this oath with this person like you just want this person to you want to glue yourself to this person and is that god's plan for you you at that point was a, a secondary school relationship was a relationship for you to understand what relationship all about. is all about a very few relationship from secondary school has led into marriage yes so very, few. very few and some will come from the point of youth service those okay we met we dated 15 years we cut it for 20 something years a relationship that you're picking up from secondary from youth service hmm. all the way into marriage you know that it's a process that means in that process there was a breakup yeah there was a reuniting Definitely. maybe you have gone your separate ways this one has traveled here and then somewhere along the line because god has destined you permits hmm. and then you pronounce that and say, so, oh we've known way back in the university and then you pronounce that building on that thing so but relationships that we have currently are relationships that you meet somebody and the first thing is marriage so the earlier we start saying it's not every relationship that will lead to marriage yeah some relationships are not even meant to be um 
romantic relationships at all. At all. You, you, have, it. you have no business, but because of the affection that and the sentiment, and, and the sentiment that we carry, <laughs> we carry into relationships, you know, automatically Ooh, you feel Jesus. like it should be a romantic relationship. Hmm. And maybe the other person is not thinking that way. Now you are feeling hot. You are feeling like I gave my love to this person actually love me. So that a lot of it has shaped me. There are so many people around me that you find out that it's not it's this relationship I have with this person is not a romantic one. But we can be all loving, we can be all caring, okay. we can check up on you two four seven, we can be there. But it has nothing to do, to do with romance. And but there are some relationships that you don't even check on each other. But it's, you could know like that, that we are here, this is where we are. So the earlier we start understanding that, and certain about, okay, this particular one is for this. So people who don't get hurt always, you know. Uh, so that people will get hurt always. Mm. Uh, because, um, I don't know, especially the female, they get hurt. It's our gender. And some will say the men. <laughs> you, you know what? How do we balance this? <laughs> How do we balance this? Now, the reason we get hot most. Let, let me who heals <laughs> faster? <laughs> we get it off their chest most. Okay, okay. Now, let me tell you why the reason why some will say the men because the men are fond of leading women on. <laughs> yes, you know that you're not going to marry this person. You know you're not going to have anything to do with this that's person. That's it. But you're giving her all the attention you would give a love. And that doesn't mean they are not carrying that same attention to, to someone, to else. someone else. Oh my so God. So she's sitting down feeling like, oh, I didn't want this thing to go to this extent. But the way he's loving me, the way he's caring for me, oh, I just feel like she give him a chance. Meanwhile, in the August head, there is nothing like that. He's not even thinking, he's not even that thinking that. Direction. And then you start developing feelings. Ah, you get carried away. Get ca hoping that he will come up with that question of, will you marry me? Or are you going to date? That's why yes, somebody will say, yes. after everything, he left me to go. Did you right? tell me anything? Did you tell me anything? Sure, it happens both on the road and on the side. The lady will say, well, you didn't say anything. <laughs> what are you waiting for? <laughs> You didn't tell me. I you just, you know, it was a friend. Maybe you took her and said, it's your sister. We are my sister. I like what all this is. Yes, ma'am. I'm your sister. You know, we play. We, we, how many years? How many years? You tell me. And then the person is getting married and you're feeling hot. I'm feeling like, after all I've done. After all I've done. No, because you, 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 you had a different idea. She's yeah, like, maybe you felt like this relationship <laughs> is a two-way thing. Okay, it's just us loving each other based on, okay, Okay, this person is emotional support uh, and, and i pity all those men <laughs> that are very shy yeah that don't know how to speak their they mind they don't know right? how to speak their <laughs> mind though they can only speak their mind by <laughs> by text messages <laughs> hello hi are you so, are you fine but then when you think of who gets who, who shoves over and gets and moves away is um it's mostly the men hmm. mostly the men because women fall in love emotionally and they are they dip themselves into that emotions you see that they are loving with everything they have they are loving with every strength so it's difficult for you to break a lady's heart and she just except maybe that lady didn't love you or she had somebody else someone that else that she was playing with and she just you know reason. just like a backup plan that you can that you has plan B. Now, i was talking about that guy that went all out mm. i put it on the social media and stated all oh, what he has, he has when is, when is, back up oh, I, will, I will write i'll write <laughs> them out and i'll read them to us maybe tomorrow i'll do that before we start because the guy is stated he must have the house he must have a car plan. he should not <laughs> she won't check. even if i uh, 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 what is i mean an open say he now got you know proposals mm. started coming in it's outside the country actually it's a nigerian but it's outside the country the and so it was it was just a way for him to now start saying hey, maybe i'll choose one then i will make two other backup plans and still he will say you need a wife ha! now let's talk about relationship also that you find yourself in mm. like what we have mm. at work at school does it have to be till eternity? No. But many believe, just like we have friends, we will always lay claim to entitled friends. Mm. Yeah, there are some you know, we've been friends. 
You have been friends for <laughs> how long now? You have never come to my house. You know, the, the, the thing is, let, let me say this. The earlier we understand is the better for us. Seriously. Not all friends that will be there with you sometimes. All the friends that started with you are not the ones that will be in that journey with Definitely. you. Definitely. Definitely. There are some friends that you put just see once in a while and you put just click. And it's more like, hello, hi. Hello, hi. And there are some friends that they automatically become a part of you. They are more like sisters. Such friends, the truth is, friends you've had from way back are different from, you might meet a friend within two months and that person becomes a soul sister to you. You know? And the other person you've known for years is feeling like, Excuse oh, me. No, it really, friendship is not by how long you've known somebody. Hmm. It's by how connected you are with such a person. And, that friend. and what's, what is the, the, the benefit that, that you know that that brings that, 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 that so when you see each when other, you see each other and you start just start relating, you know, just start slowing. You don't need to start opening prayer. No, 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 no. You just start and you start. So you really and you are good. Well, there are some relations. The fact that you people work in the same place, it does not mean you have to be friends. Mm. You can have, and I used to say it somewhere like they'll say, if you have a best friend, your best friend has another best friend that has another best, best friend. Best friend, another friend, another best best friend. friend. Yeah. So you have to be selective. If this person is my friend, if I call this person my friend, in times of situation, would that person call be me there, a, a friend, friend to be there for me? I used to say something. I'm one person that once I've taken you in my circle, if you call me 3 a.m., I'll be there for you. Hmm. Like, so I'll, I'll call you 2 a.m. No, no, no. If I, I call you 2 a.m., I refuse to pick my call. <laughs> no, no. People, people that have my friends, I hope you are hearing People that have known me over the years know that Joy Abu will go all out for you. Whether you're close to me, whether you're just an acquaintance, That's why your name is whether Joy, you're just somebody I met by the way, as long as you're in that my circle. But does that mean I have friends that, yes, that I have do the friends same. that do the same for me. I have friends it may not. That, it may not. I have friends that in times of cycle, I know that, okay, fine. Do you know that th there are some situations you've been disappointed that somebody that you expected to be there for you was never there for yeah, you? Yeah, of course. That is because that person was not, didn't take your friendship the way you took the it. The way you took it. And let me tell you, no matter what you throw out there, no matter how good, how loving, how caring, how joyful, joyful may be, you don't get everything you don't. the same way you mm -hmm. throw it out. Mm -hmm. Yes, I have seen it. I have experienced it. I know it. I have been there, so I know what I'm talking about. Just and like you said, it. friendship should not be with So it should not be. Yes, yeah, it should not come with all demands, demands and, 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 and starts entitlements. Entitlement. <laughs> what are you entitled to? What are you entitled see, to? See, what you see is what you see. Mm. What you give is what you take. I tell you, in as much as out of ten or twenty that you have given out, expect two back. Even that, I will do two. No, let's just say two. All. Don't expect all. Everything like mm. you put it there. But just know that whether you see them, you're good. Whether you don't see them, you're good. Because you know yourself. Your man will say more. As in, I know you know you know you. I know you by your character and your attitude is what makes friendship easy. Yeah. You understand? I know this is what Afis can do. I know this is what Mr. Dewale can do. So if I don't see him do this, that joy will do for me. I'm not taking it. Yeah. It doesn't move me. At I all. shake my body. I'm all. not moved. So I move on. I move on. That's what relationship should be. And, and, and understanding and what it comes with. If you're the type of person that is always taking friendship at heart, hmm. you would never stop taking it at heart. Whether one person disappoints you does not mean you're not going to you move on. You just move on. You move on. You just move on. That's because there's like always a, a playback. Of and course. that playback will come from someone you know least know. expect. In short, Someone you have never met or even come across, mm. you just get there, and because you have been faithful and loving, so beautiful about sharing and expressing the goodness you have inside of you to spread it, just like the joy advocate we had uh, mm. <laughs> yesterday. You know, you just eat it, and it will just pan, it will just click, and that's what life is all about. That's what so life don't is all start living on entitlements. Uh, uh, I've been there for you. I uh, don't start it's whining and like ranting. Somebody will say, "I was there for him when he had nothing." The fact that he had nothing <laughs> and you're there for him does not mean when he has everything, you he should you be mm. that picture. Mm. Your mm. one is you see. The earlier we realize that we are we are helpers in everybody's life. When your time is done in that person's life, accept it mm. and move on. And move the on. problem we have in relationship is you do.
don't want to accept. Uh -uh. You still want to hold on to that thing because maybe 20 years ago you gave the person 20,000 yeah. and the person started a business. Then you now feel like it's that 20,000 that money. That money to her too. And so that <laughs> idea of I started it for him. It took, you see, it's actually hurtful, let's be sincere. It is. I had to understand that. The fact that you're doing this does not mean you must get it back get the same way you have done way. it. That's the truth. It's, and that is it's why really very relationships, for us people to will know still that. get hurt. Ladies will still get hurt. Reason being that somebody will say, I was there for you. I used to cook for you. I used to wash uh, your And we are the one that is this. very I mild to do that. with us. I used to do that for you. We are very sent for you to marry. You decided to marry somebody else. The fact that you were doing all those things, does not mean the person will marry. Have you stated your... So your, don't go into your, relationship what, with marriage want. mentality. Go into relationship with... If it works out, fine. Fine. If, if it, it doesn't... Everything you keep put an open Make mind, sure it is two-way. It's way. to be a two-way thing. Always have an expected and a hope that whether it's good, fine. If it doesn't, all well and good. But I move on. As we move on, we need to go for our word of marble and box pop. We'll be right back. Let's hear what people have to say when it comes to understanding that relationship is a two-way thing. We'll be right back. Yes, of course. With all joy, yo. Because the way it be now like this, now guys, they carry bill. You can't see better want to split with you. Ah, Baba God, I'm blessed you, now. Oh God, I go split, I go split, Taya. Yes. In case if you don't have money, I can assist him. Maybe we went out. You don't have that amount of the thing we bought. I can sh split my bill with him also. Why not? Yes, I can. I am working, is working. So what's the problem? I should be able to split the bill with him. Yeah, I can. If she's doing well with her business and I feel the bill is more than my strength, I can beg her. But not that I will force her. I will just beg her so that we can split the bill. At least she can take a few percentage from mine and help me. Yes. We help. Yes, now I'm sure we can split the bill. We help. Let everybody they assign Papa name. <laughs> <laughs> but this is how they split bill. I beg me everybody be a papa name and you don't help anybody. Can you split bills? Can you split as in, okay, maybe the house rent, um, food stuff, and you know, many other things like that. Are you ready to go through responsibility? Yeah, it's your understanding relationship. In both you heard what that guy said. He said, no, wait, it, it's not, it's not, who that won't help? Okay, if you want to buy a wig, is that part of the bill? <laughs> I'm, I'm just joking. Mm. Okay, the regular bills like mm. the house rent, the electricity bills, the um, maybe the repairs in the mm. house, monthly repairs, or literally to um, groceries that come up everything. that you need to pick up. Yeah. Uh, that one tired, <laughs> but really, I tell you, my Niger we do, but I do Lego, so I will tell you. See, <laughs> as he come, we just carry him. Now, the, now the truth except is, if the man decides to say, okay, these are the things we have. Some men, uh, we have some men who will let you know, okay, that okay, these are the things I'm picking up. They are doing it not because they want to feel high and mighty. Mm. They believe it's their responsibility. Mm. They have grown up to understand and to know yeah. that, yes, I pick up the house rent. And also, but you don't start telling such a man that you need a tree, um, a duplex, or a mansion, and all that. It comes as it um, um, shows its face. In as much as, <laughs> in as, much as um, I want to speak the minds of a lot of people mm. out there. 
it's a man's responsibility to take care of the home yeah um, whether we like it or not yeah so when it comes to bills um as a wife or as a partner you only do the little ones you can do conveniently hmm. Now let's give me give me a ratio one to ten. Calm down, calm no, down. no, don't go before because if you go now, I may not be able to answer that question. Ratio one to ten. Okay. Do the little ones. What is the ratio for a female, a mother, a wife in the house? Mm. Ratio one to ten. The little little ones. Oh yeah. See the little little ones I'm talking about. They are the fact that maybe your husband or your partner gives you money to get something. It's not enough. You add yours. Mm -hmm. You could always do that. And then the little snacks for the kids, all the minor things like okay. You so give me to, a ratio, one to ten. I can't give you a ratio, but I, I I just know that you do the little things. But then I would not agree with the fact that a woman should split bills with her partner. I won't because I understand my gender and I know my gender too well. The moment they start splitting bills with you, automatically the sense of authority start coming in. But well, that's what we're carrying out. Now, this the is. thing is, the thing is, the thing is, when you split bills, it should come from the beginning with understanding. Hmm. This relationship we are going into. Now, once we find a relationship, I used to say it, you don't have entitlement over that man. So no. you don't place demand. Whatever the man does is from a place of willingness. It should also be together. together. It should be a but we say once that, thing, once that thing marriage has come into place, from the onset, take things down. We don't belong to that um, category of the man who walk and walk and walk and walk and, and walk just come and back, just home, come and back drop. home and, and drop. <laughs> now you ask yourself as a woman, what is it that I can? You see, you can see uh, most men. Do you know that? As, as, as funny as it sounds, most men forget to even buy shirts for themselves. Yeah. You can take it upon yourself to do, to those, do those, those things. things. Those, those are not bills. Those are no, not bills. No, no, no. We're those, talking are, about the those bills are things now. that you can do to take the weight of him. That even if he's paying the bills, those can come in as appreciation. Appreciation anytime. You know? They're not necessarily bad. But then when you come to the bills, when you, what are the bills at home? The rent. Let's talk about the major bills. That's what I'm talking the about. rent. I, why would you split your rent with your husband? No. What if the husband's pay does not come? Except that's what I said. That from the beginning there should be an understanding. So, if you're earning higher than Oga, you don't have to put it that you on a, you, 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 your, your, your husband should not come and tell you because you're earning more than me. Let's share the rent. No, no, no. no. It shouldn't Oga come has, that way. Let's just say rent is four fifty k, and Oga has three hundred. I'll just come and say, okay, I can borrow you 150. You return back. You don't even need to borrow. No, 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 See, no. no. You are doing it because it See, is we. We are mixing it now. Wait, wait. It is a we thing. And if it is a we thing, it should come as we are sitting down now to discuss. Uh, my dear, we are paying our rent next month. And so far, so good. We have been able to raise social amount. We are not borrowing him. Mm. You are doing it because you are the better half. I love the fact that you said you're doing it because you're the better half. Now, let me remind you that there are lots of ladies that are not better half. You're forgetting our agenda. No, it's true. It is few. I know, I know, it is I know. In our agenda. I, I understand. I've seen a true life story. That's why I've I'm saying. True life story. I'm saying, no, story. don't prepare their mind see, to borrow. That's, see, I've seen a true life story where the man, the woman was actually earning more than the man. It's common. And for her, Paying rent was never a problem before the man said Jack she has cleared, she has cleared it. it. And she in her mind it was like, okay, when this man starts having money, the man will give me back what I have put in. Mm. And when the man started making money and she started placing demand, the man was like and she was like, But I did this, I did that. See, that's why I'm saying it our don't agenda. It don't work. Our don't agenda. Work why do you think that a man will borrow a woman would um a man will borrow ten thousand from a woman? And give her fifty thousand. The man will still demand for the ten thousand. Uh, you still borrow. Hey, you yeah, yeah. Okay, you still borrow. Yes. Daddy. You know why? Mm. You don't state the borrow at that point. You don't state the borrow because when you say borrow, you do you see one skit of a, a woman who borrowed them? How much was it? Two thousand or something? Mm. Two thousand. Uh, and and it's forty-five thousand. And the man that say, ah. Look at the calculation in this one. It is it is it is it is agenda. So, if you are doing business, I, I understand men who do business with women will understand better what we're trying to talk about. 
Yes, we have some women who are distinct when it comes to we decide to do Michelle when it comes to details. Some women love details. Details in everything. In everything. And details when it comes to their money, they don't joke with it. They take it seriously. They want you to respect the fact that I am joining hands. Hands with, with you. you. I have no business. I'm just so helping. please, please. When you are in a relationship, you need to sit down together mm. and work this through. Now, let's look at those who find themselves in a relationship that uh, maybe um, you heard the guy give you a bus. You, I say, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. I was just, I was just carried away. Blah blah blah. You are seeing a relationship. Oh. Okay, now continue 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 you find another opportunity something happens say boss ah this is becoming too much you you gave me an analogy <laughs> don't let me <laughs> if you slap you give him <laughs> i'll slap him i'll give him too I'll but you know there are some violent men uh, opposite no, sex no, that even it happens to women too mm. some women too they are very fast when it comes mm. ah I can't I don't think I've ever raised my hand to slap a man mm. because I don't I cannot handle violence myself. So now raising my hand to slap a man, oh no, I go maybe I'm the, fighting the, for the my life is, at that point. The truth <laughs> is I um, I would not subscribe to the fact that okay, um, you should stay in a relationship that they slap you first time you mm. stay. I gave you a scenario that I was once told that if a man slap you once, return the slap. Yes, sir. Now, you don't do that with all men. They are you don't do that. Return the slap. They, they will finish, give it back. They finished your entire They'll life. They'll go deep too. down. But then, let's be sincere. When you start a relationship and you're landed the first slap, my hmm. dear, pack your things and take a walk. It's not the end of the day. Yeah, but some no, will no, tell no, you, no, no, we truth truth started from see, school. That's where and now we are out something. of the university. I was saying hey, something I'm that to, you where see, am I this, going to start this, from? this attachment that we attach to relationship that is difficult for us to pull ourselves is why so many people have married wrong. That you need the person from university till the time the person is beating you does not mean, don't calculate the yes. Ah. Calculate what will my people, that way. my friends, that is what my, my family, family everybody, they know I'm going out with joy. How would they? Oh my God! No, so let me tell you something. And they will keep. That is why so many men men. have gone six feet. What will people say? What will my family say? The fact that people have known you everywhere that you're going out with this person does not mean that if they ask you, it is see your relationship, like we say, is a two-way thing. Once you start receiving the first slap, and hmm. I'm sorry, enters <laughs> three, four months after you receive the second said, slap, once you one. to marry, I'm you sorry. become used to it. So for me, no, no, first slap, if I don't return it, I move out. Okay. No matter, I'm sorry. <laughs> Joy will move out. See, because me, I, I hate violence. <laughs> I cannot hate violence. See, I don't. I, 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 don't I, I, like I it. hate violence. I told you, I, I, don't I, don't think think I've ever felt, I don't think I've ever, you know, hold my fist like this before. <laughs> I don't even know how to do it. I don't think I've done this before when I was in school. <laughs> I tell you, I don't yeah, think I have. You. I don't want to. But then, in all we are saying, relationship is a two-way thing. You must not defend that. I say it. A lot of us had crushes in the university that we almost did blood oaths. That, that time now, if you do blood code with that person now, to break that to break down, to say, take well, that that now. deliverance session. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. I cannot do without you. Hi. I'm married to the person too. Hey, I love, love you, I love you, I love you. You heard that. So, um, I have yeah. even had an experience of a friend who they started a relationship after having one kid. Um, there was a breakup. Yes, And yeah. the guy died at the end of the day. And so now she's left to go and marry someone else. So it goes a lot. Every relationship, every relationship. Joy. Um, well, all I will say is, like I started the show by saying, don't go into a relationship with the mindset of it must lead to marriage. The moment you have that at the back of your mind, you're limited. You're limited to opportunities. You're limited to seeing life the other side. Mm. Everything around you will be revolved in that relationship and that person. So, so what I'm saying is, if you're going into a relationship, have an open mind so that you'll be able to see the red flags in between. I've been there this person for so long. I don't know how I'm going to leave this person. My dear, you will still survive. Hmm. That's just the truth. You will still survive. The way the, this life is currently, that is why they said normalize breakup in your That's it. That somebody broke up with you is not the end of the world. So don't don't kill yourself. Then don't the make it a do or die. Do or die no, no, no. I no. must marry you. It's not to 
Op be open. Are you in a platonic relationship? Are you in a romantic relationship? So that, do you know that you can be in a romantic relationship and have somebody that is helping you because you're having a, an open mind, not the one that hey, if I collect, he will say, uh -uh, my dear, wake up. So put men so, men wake up. Our please. dears, enjoy our, our dears, wake that, up. That's what I'm saying to you. Thank you know you for our our. Our it's our initial. word of marvel we said when we love we always strive to become better than we are. Mm. When we strive to be, be to become better than we are, everything around us becomes better too. So everything around you will be better. Just understand the fact that it's not all relationship. That doesn't mean you just carry a positive mind and make sure your positive mind has a limit. Okay? Don't take anything that will make you feel uncomfortable. Tomorrow is going to be another wonderful time, time with us. And um, we'll be discussing building our youth to enrich our, our community, our society. This is coming. Um, We're having the people of Ojokoro celebrating. There's Ojokoro Day also. And so we'll be doing this to talk about what do you do to build the youth in your community. Do you think the youth in your community deserve a chance to redeem who you have seen them to be so don't cast them out they have something here and you can help them to discover it and so we'll be talking more about that so start thinking of which youth around your neighborhood in your community that you need to help they have a whole lot of them you need to start it start from you on that note I want to say a big thank you to all our crew and everyone who has decided to join us today, don't forget to go back to our social media platform to watch all that we have said. It goes a long way. And please send us a message. We want to get your response. My name is Remin Uloria Dijoki Adli Devi. We hope to see you tomorrow. Have a splendid day. Bye for now. See you.